What's up YouTubers, you see Weapon back again with another Trackmaster unboxing review and first run and today we have Reneus his bright new colours the greatest moments and we'll have a close look at the packaging he has a big smiling face which I'm not sure what the normal Reneus has but I'm guessing it's probably identical to the normal Reneus and comes with a pair of Blue Mountain Quarry trucks now I'll see here on Reneus that he's got a funny squiggle on that sort of wheel arch there and it's on both sides first I thought it was an error but then I had a close look at the picture I'm not sure if you can see that, but his actual wheel arch is shaped like the squiggle in the movie or in the show. But Trackmaster have been lazy and just given him a round wheel arch instead of the correctly shaped one. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Now I just filmed the Skarloey video I'm going straight to the this engine who is also a narrow gauge engine so it'll be good to compare the two how they run it's still fresh in my mind alright now I'm pretty positive it's held in by sticks have a quick look. You've got to be very careful with knives if you're young. And we are held in by sticks and we have another instructions. Alright, so pull these out. Get out of there. Second truck. And the Reneus. Alright. Clear up this junk here. Alright, so. Comes with one load in a truck. And the Reneus himself. So what it says on the truck is BMQ, I'm sure that stands for Blue Mountain Quarry. And there's a picture of that rail elevator type thing. I'm sure that character has a name, but it escapes me at the moment. I have seen Blue Mountain Mystery too. Oh, I see they've added wheels with three holes. That is very, very lazy. Very lazy. I could probably modify this one to have a traction rod. Seems to be enough room there. But it looks like the front axle is a bit short. Need that longer type of axle for that and this looks like it is the kind of axle that does not remove because it's like fixed in rendering this one impossible to mod at the moment I'd have to have a good think about it I'd love to have one with working side rods but yeah these are painted on windows all appears to be painted on except for the nameplate which is a sticker say so the big smiling face yes so what we'll do we'll pop him open now if you just watch my Scarloe video you'll see 
pretty much the same deal for this engine. Oh, the whole shell comes off. So this is a retooling. It's a new engine, basically. Oh, dreamy. Dreamy, dreamy, dreamy and quiet. I love it. Very keen to give him his run. See how he performs. It's quite interesting. And why not have Scarlowe going around at the same time? Just for something interesting to look at. Let's go. Okay, so here is uh, Trackmaster Yellow Reneus with his train and battery and he is ready to go. Let's go. Scarlowe running in the background. That is of course the Tommy Scarlowe. This Reneus is rather quiet. But the Scarlowe is a bit of a whining drive unit. Uh, looking great with his blue blue mountain quarry trucks. I have to say, quite a good looking engine. I do believe we have another Reneus, a Tony one, but he is broken at the moment. His contact pin on the switch does not like to stay in position when switched on and you have to wedge something in there. So I'm going to give that one some attention and possibly also modify it to have traction rods. But in the meantime, Let's enjoy this yellow Reneus going about his business. Okay, so does the Trackmaster Yellow Reneus work on the turntable? Very nicely. And having a little race with Tony Scarlowe. Not as fast.
as I said these newer drive units that are quiet do not seem to be as fast it could be because of the gearing used or some other trick they have done to make them a bit more quiet but they are very quiet and I love them like that so let me know what you think about Reneus's new coat of paint gonna leave it there today Thanks for watching.